Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show where I offer misguided advice about video games. Game of choice, Hearthstone. My name is Meerkat, welcome back to my show. Today, I'm going to be hopping into another one turn kill mage deck, OTK Mage. OTK! I'm going to be showing you part two. I hadn't originally planned on having part two, but I've discovered something about this deck. This deck is really potent if you can pull it off correctly. The problem, or the tricky thing is, is being able to know how to pull it off correctly. How do you pull it off correctly? Jaina it's all about Thrall. how you start the game. For, for example, you asked for it. in this hand, I have a combo card, and I have a draw card, and I have a delay card, and I have another draw card. So how do you want to start the game off? Always draw cards all the time. Every time you can get a draw card at the beginning of the game, that's exactly what you want. Fortunately, it wasn't really the draw card I was looking for, and that is not a draw card at all. That's something you want to use more towards the end of the match, but uh, that's okay. So the way you want to play this game, you really want to put as many draw cards onto the board in the first half of the match as you can. Um, so, with that being said, let's go ahead and drop that down. Drop down a lead quarter. Okay, so you really want to get all your draw cards out as fast as you can. Um, and because you have so many of them, it's likely that you'll keep drawing into them until you start to shuffle through all the cards that you need for your combo. Ta-da! And the combo is how you do the one-turn kill. Okay, there's a draw card. Let's go ahead and drop down the uh, Novice Engineer next turn. Turn after that, I'll drop down the Acolyte of Peon. I'm currently drinking juice. I got a juicer, uh, not this Saturday, but the previous Saturday. Uh, my girlfriend bought it for me, actually. Very kind of her. And it tastes amazing. I love juicing now. I'm totally hooked. Hooked on phonics. Oh. Don't work for me. Sure. Um, anyways, I'm really hooked on juice. I eat all my fresh fruits and vegetables in the form of juice now. Um, the problem before was that I never used to eat my fruits and vegetables like I'm supposed to, like a good little boy. So, uh, oh, this is actually an easy response for that. Okay, 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 okay. what I do? what I do? what I do? what I do? You tack into that, you tack into that. See, there's a combo card. Let's go ahead and drop down. Let us go ahead and drop... What do I want to do? What to do? What to do? Let's hold on to the Doomsayer for now. Let's go ahead and drop down. Drop down the Blood Mage Thalnos. But anyways, yeah, the fresh fruit... The, the fruits and vegetables are a good addition to my diet. I know your moms and your dads and your grandpas and your grandmas told you as a little kid to always eat your fruits and vegetables. Well, I never did. And now that I'm an adult, and never did for most of my adult life, now that I am, holy crap, what a difference in my day does it make. I feel amazing. I feel so much better. It's, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Okay, let's drop down the loot hoarder. Not too worried about these minions on his side of the board. Whatever, he's gonna do some damage to my face. I don't care. Um... Three, six, seven, eight. Go ahead and attack into attack into that. Get the card draw out of it. There's the cold light oracle. Okay, so I'm at three, six, nine cards. So I think what I want to do. That's what I want. That's what I want. Uh, three, six, nine. So when that dies, I'm gonna go to ten, and then I'm gonna burn a card. So I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and drop down the ice block now. It's going to give him less incentive to use his Azur Drake to attack into me. And to attack into that because he's not going to want to test the waters and burn a 6-3 Azur Drake on a potential of... I was completely wrong! Wow, I do not know anything about this game. That's why I said it's misguided advice, folks. <laughs> hmm. That was quite the gamble that he took there. I could have had a Vaporize. I could have burnt his card. He was willing to accept that chance. I wonder... Nefisto. Nefisto. Sounds like Mephisto from Diablo. 
Interesting, he's not going to attack into my loot hoarder. He's just trying to do as much damage to my face. Not very beneficial for me. But whatever, no big deal. Okay, next turn I could drop a blizzard. Do a more lightning bolt to my face. Aye, yeah, yeah, this guy just wants to do as much damage to me as possible. Would you hurry up, Mr. Nephisto? Wanna be a Mephisto? Oh my god. He's probably gonna silence. Nope, he's gonna weapon up, attack into me. Oh no, he's attacking into the loot quarter. Okay. Alright, cool. So we got some more combo cards. He's currently down to 25 hit points, which means I could sacrifice using a fireball. Which means all I need is every card except for two fireballs. Uh, so I'm missing another frostbolt. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Actually, I don't know what to do. So we're at 10 cards, correct? Correct. So we drop that down. Drop that down. Brings us back up to 10. There's a Doomsayer. Let's go ahead and drop down a Doomsayer right now. And that'll put me at 9. I'll go back up to 10 next turn. That'll kind of maybe delay taking some damage to my face. Depends on if he has a Lightning Storm to wipe everything except for the Doomsayer. And then he'll use maybe a, a Hex. Or, I don't know, he's actually at 5 out of 7, now he's at 4. Oh, okay, he's gonna just it. So then he's gonna be attacking into these two cards here with his minions. Almost, what cost is a lightning bolt, or a uh, lightning storm? Is that 4 mana crystals? I actually can't remember. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so interesting, he's going to just attack me once with the Zero Jenkins. Jenkins. Okie dokie. What can I do? What would you do for a Klondike bar? I could attack, 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 attack. Right, that would bring me down to five. What to do? Ba -doop, ba -doop, what doop, to doop. do? Nah, nope. I better go ahead and drop the blizzard now. Ah, at least I had chicken. Let's go ahead and attack into that. Attack into that. Attack into that. Oh, I'm so dumb. I should have killed that and left the Azor Drake. Um, so if he has a charge card, I'm worried about him triggering my ice block right now. So let's go ahead and just do that for now. Three, six, nine. Matt, nine cards in my hand. So if I pull into... Um, oh, I've got the two frost bolts. All right, cool. So if I just pull into a cold geomancer, I've got the game. The light protects me. Because I can do uh, 8 mana crystals instead of 10. He's down to 25, so it reduces... Okay, perfect timing. GG! Someday I'll be just like you. You know take candle? You know take the candle. You know take the candle. And that is how you play a one-turn kill mage style deck. Alright, so... I've won the game. I didn't actually need the 9 cards, I needed the 8 cards. It's real beneficial that you use your draw cards at the beginning of the match, and also pay attention to how much health your opponent does have, because your 1 turn kill can do up to 32 points of damage. Now, if you take into account... Oh, Johnny Jonah, what is up, amigo? How... How you doing? Jaina versus Kul'dan! Anyways, so, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get rid of the combo cards and do some draw cards. Oh, that is, that is not a draw card at all. 
Oh, how's it going? It's going good. Just, just making a YouTube video. Smile. Awesome, he says. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ends the turn. Dropping down a novice engineer. Like Seeing what we're gonna get. We get a fireball. Now, a warlock, I'm willing to bet we're most likely going to be able to pull off the one turn kill combo sooner, because he most likely is going to be doing damage to his own face. Now, our dear friend, Ritten, is not going to be attacking into the novice engineer. I would imagine, unless I drop a secret, in which case he'd be worried that it gets rid of the the dire wolf alpha, so he'll maybe just get rid of that anyways. I don't know. A lot of different ways it could go. Anytime I try to make some sort of prediction, most of the time, I'm usually 100% of the time incorrect. For the crusade! For the crusade. That's going to be dropping down a young priestess. Nope, a void walker. He's gonna be ignoring my novice engineer attacking into me, which is excellent, hey, because now I've got an additional eight armor. Drop down now to six. And fantastical, fantastical. Let's go ahead and drop down the uh, mirror image. Let's go ahead and drop down a cold light oracle. No point in me mindlessly killing my novice engineer into a 2-3 void walker. No sense, there'd be no sense in killing the other turner. Okay. Very interesting that he decided to attack into one of my taunt cards with his 4-1 Scarlet Crusader. I'd imagine if it was me, I'd uh, not be doing that. Oh, okay. So now he's up to a 9-9. Nine, nine. That's a scary called. The very scary called. Okay. So, what to do? I could Frost Nova. And in fact, I think that's what I want to do. Because if I Frost Nova and then I attack with a Fire Blast into that card, what next turn do? I can... I can, uh, Blizzard. Kill off almost everything. Bring him down to let's see, eight, six, four. Not enough. His health hasn't gone down as much as I would have expected it to by now. I Let's go ahead and just be willing to take some damage to the face for sacrifice of card draw. Uh, go ahead and drop down the. There we go. There we go. Next turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack into him. Let's end the turn. Let's see what happens here. I'm currently at 30 hit points for armor for a total of 34 hit points in armor. So I used to have engineering picked as a major... And I decided to switch to business, business administration, uh, like 90% of the other college kids out there who are currently going to community college. Uh, and the reason for that is because I don't math well. I don't think I'm quite particularly suited for the engineering field. I mean, it's not that I couldn't do it. It's just that I think I'm more interested in business. And uh, so as such, I always say I can't My math good. But that's the reason why I never went into engineering. Okay. So that's going to be a lot, of, a lot of damage. Nine hit points. That's a lot of damage right there, folks. Lots, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Okay, what I could do is I could go ahead and drop down a Frost Nova, drop down Arcane Intellect for some more card draw. That's exactly what I'll do. That's what I want. Attack into him. Give him the opportunity to fill up the board with another minion of his. Uh, the choice that he most desires. Harvest Golem. Good. Decent choice, I suppose. Come on, do the life tap. There you go. 
bring your health down for me so I don't have to do it. Okay, three, six, nine. Not quite ready for the blizzard. Let's drop down another. Let's drop down a Frost Nova. Let us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Impossible. Impossible. Um, what I could do is I could drop down the loot quarter. I wonder. Uh, what's the best move here? What is the best move? Ice block, not quite yet. Uh, uh, three, six, eight. Let's drop that down. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Another combo card. If he gets himself down to 25, which is very uh, easy that he could. Nope. He just decided to end the turn right then and there. Okay. So let's go ahead and drop down a blizzard. Let's go ahead and attack into... How the how do I want to set myself up here? I probably want to go ahead and drop down the loot order or the novice engineer. If I drop down a loot order, what I could... To do? What to do? Ping that off for one, attack him into... Well, it's not going to really work for me, is it? No, I might as well just try to... I don't know what to do here. Let's go ahead and drop down the novice engineer. I mean, the uh, loot order. Should I attack into that? Why not? Okay. All right, so what are we at now? We've got one Sorcerer's Apprentice. We are not ve getting very many combo cards. They're all staying in the bottom what part of the side? deck here, aren't they? Gotten a lot of draw cards and a lot of controlling cards. I've got, see, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I still need nine more cards. Or, sorry, four more cards. All right, there's an Acolyte of Pain. There's a Blood Mage Thalos. Okay, let's drop down. Drop down the novice hey, engineer. Like There's a doomsayer. So let's drop an ice block. Let's drop a doomsayer. And let's drop a loot order. So now he's going to have to make a decision. I've got 20 hit points. He could very well kill me this turn if I didn't have the ice block up. Considering he's got 9, 11, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Could have tried to kill me, but alas, he decided to attack into the Doomsayer instead. Good, good choice, good option. Okay, there's another draw card. I mean, a combo card. Who dares summon me? Who dares summon me? Come on, do a life tap. You know you want to do a life tap. All right, he's discovered that I do not have a vaporize. He the sun well. He's not doing a life tap for the life of him. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let. Okay. So we're getting close here. We're getting very close. We're just missing a single fireball, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing an ice lance, and a fire. No, we got the ice. Or do we? Missing an ice lance mm. and uh, a fireball. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm wondering if it would be prudent for me to go ahead and try to do some damage now. Not be able to fully pull off the one turn kill combo in one turn, but rather in two turns like I did in the last match. Would that be the best idea? Do. Would that be good for me? I've only got five cards left, so let's do this. Let's drop him down. Let's drop that down. I've got an... Oh, no. Never mind. Um, should I just attack into that? No. Don't think I want to. Let's see. No, I can't. Ah, darn it. I, mm. I still need another Ice Lance and another Fireball, so I can't pull off my Frostball combo. Or could I? 
Actually, I probably... Oh, la 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 la. I can't figure out what to do. Okay, let's attack into him. Runs out on There's an ice block. Okay, cool. So that'll set me up for next turn. Let's attack oh, into that, because I think I still have one more blizzard that buried somewhere in that deck. Okay, cool. Alright, we're looking in a better position here. We're looking to be in a much better position. He's going to attack into that and into that, which is going to pull out two more cards. I'll get a third card. Okay. There's my ice block. There's a Nat Pagel. There's a nice Lance. Oh no, I'm at 10. Oh my god. Thank. Thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I almost just I lost agree. the game. I almost lost the game. I miscounted there. I should have not had both of those draw cards on the board like that. Whew, okay. So, here's... Now, here's the predicament I'm in right now. Oh, this is not good. Oh, no, this is not good. If I drop an ice block now, he'll trigger it. Next turn, it'll go away. Oh no, this is actually perfect. What to do? What this to oh do? shit. I agree shit. you. Uh oh boy. Nat Pagel. Pagel, however you pronounce it. Squelch, go away. I'm trying to think. <laughs> um okay, well let's go ahead and drop down. Okay, do? let's do this. What let's do this. Do? Let's drop that down. Like you. Let's drop that down. Like Let's go ahead and do most of the combo. Right? Let's go ahead and pull into the ice block as well. <gasps> oh no! I forgot to drop down my Kabuji Answer! Oh no! <laughs> I'm so stupid. Well, he's down to 27 hit points, so maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not the end of the world. Oh god, I'm just butchering this darn match, aren't I? Okay. No, no big deal. Uh, no big deal. Okay, cool. No big deal. We're fine. We're fine. I have one card, so my ice block will trigger this turn. Next turn, I'll get the card, not a fatigue card, because I decided to do most of the combo and not drop the Nat Pagel. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you folks learned something from this matchup. Um, one, make sure you count correctly, and two... Your combo card might be in the very, very bottom of the deck. In this case, that's exactly what it is. There it is! My fireball for the win! Okay. GG. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> okay. Dare I play one more match and draw the game out? Draw the game out. Let's do it. Why not? I'll be posting into the comments below... Uh, the times for the exact actual killing blow. Um, so the last two two matches, I've not been able to pull off the one turn kill in one turn. I've had to do it in two turns, or three, or two, or whatever. Anyways, whew. oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> I thought I had lost the game because I had burned into the fireball, but luckily it was a doomsayer. Oof, that was close. For Doomhammer. Okay. For it. Controlling combo and delay. Let's go ahead and throw all of those back. Try to get some card draw. Combo, card draw, card draw. Cool. Okay, dokie. And combo. Alright. Otto. I think I've played you before, Otto. So, the reason that I, I'm finding... I find that I'm having more success doing the draw cards at the beginning because if you throw draw cards onto the board, it gives your opponent something to focus on. And meanwhile, you're replenishing your hand with the cards that you really need. Whereas if you only hold on to combo cards and then you get draw cards later into the match, which you've seen if you watched the last video, did not work out well for me at all, uh, then... Let's go ahead and drop that down. There's another combo card and a delay card. Let's go ahead and attack into him. Bring him down to three. 
Alright, so I've got one, two, three combo cards, and I've got two draw cards and two delay cards. Looking pretty right now. Looking pretty good. <clears throat> I gotta leave here soon. I gotta stop by the school. Currently on a one break. One break? I'm currently on a run break. I'm on a one week break in between my spring class and summer class. So next Monday I'll be going back to school. I'll be going back to school. Uh, three, six, eight. Let's drop the arcane intellect. Now I'm at three, six, nine. End the turn. Next turn, I will probably be pulling out. Hmm, I don't know. Guessing a Frost Nova? I suppose. I suppose. Frost Nova and a Nat Pagel, I think is what I'll do. Frost Nova, Nat Pagel. I can wait and fish all day. I can wait and fish all day. All right, so I'm currently at three, six, eight cards. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm not going to be burning any cards in a stupid fashion like I did last match. All right, what have we got? Next turn, I might do another Frost Nova and an Arcane Intellect. Let's see what we got here. Okay, there's a, there's a combo card. Let's go ahead and drop down the... Frost Nova, I'm gonna drop down the Arcane Intellect. There's a Loot Hoarder and a Mirror Image. Three, six, nine cards. Gonna be back up to ten next turn. And next turn, I will probably be dropping down the Loot Hoarder and the Mirror Image, and maybe the Ice Block. So he's uh, he's got a lot of cards on his side of the board there. Okay, what to do? Let's go ahead and drop down mirror image. Let's drop down the ice block now. And let us drop down. Uh Blood Mage Thalnos or a loot order? Does it even matter? Okay, so I'm currently at uh, seven cards. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six out of my nine combo cards. See, it's amazing how fast you can get to your combo cards when you're constantly throwing down all your draw cards at the beginning of the match. It's actually working out quite, quite nicely. I'm playing shake, shake hands with my cat right now. My cat keeps putting his paw on my face, and then I keep putting the paw down back to the desk, but then he puts it back up, and so it's like we're shaking hands. Alright, so I'm... I am guessing he's got some sort of like wind fury, bloodlust, increased attack by three points from the rock biter weapon combo of sorts. He's got a full hand. I don't have a full hand, but I have a lot of cards in my hand. But interestingly enough, he's only got two cards that can actually do any damage. Hopefully I draw into a uh, a blizzard next turn. I could drop the blizzard and drop a doomsayer. Alright. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, there's a Cold Light Oracle. Three, six, nine cards. Let's go ahead and drop down the Cold Light Oracle. We'll burn some cards on his side, which will be nice. There's a Blizzard. My hand is too full. Oh, there goes one of his Bloodlust. That's, that's nice. Okay, um, let us go, okay, so I can't drop the blizzard. What I can do is I can drop down an ice barrier. Uh, let's see, what, how many cards am I at? Three, six, nine, ten. I'm at ten cards, so I definitely need to be doing something. So let's drop the ice barrier. Brings me back down to nine. How many cards am I at in my combo? I'm still at six. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. So let's go ahead and drop down, uh, let's drop down the Blood Mage Thalnos, end the turn. He's burning all his cards, so if he has a Blood Fury or Bloodlust in his deck right now, or in his hand, he'll uh, most likely be triggering it, because it only costs five and he's at six. But, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens here. 
Still at 6 out of my 9 combo cards, and he's still at 30 hit points, so I'm going to have to use all 9 of those cards. Next turn, I could potentially drop down a Blizzard and Doomsayer. Depends on what he's got going on here. He's got 7 minions on the board, of which only 2 can do actual damage. I'm just trying to prolong the game as much as I can with that ice barrier that I've got up there. Hopefully he doesn't trigger my ice block this turn. I'm really hopeful that he does not. It looks to be as if he's not going to because he's got a full board of minions, full hand of cards. He's got to be doing the rock biter weapon. Not sure. Oh, yep, there he goes. Okay, he's attacking into the minion so he frees up the spot on the board for him to drop another higher cost minion. Okay, there he goes. Something that's a little bit more beneficial for him. Alrighty. He's attacking into me, attacking into me. Okay. It's good that he left the uh, Blood Mage Thalmos on the board, because now I can do three points of damage and get rid of every single card except for one. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop down the Blizzard. Everything dies. Including that. <laughs> more, more souls. Okay, we're getting very close to the combo here. I mean, we're still at six. Seem to be shuffling through every card except for the one that I want. Drop down the Acolyte of Pain and the turn. I'm, I'm currently at eight cards in my hand. Let's see what he does here. Gonna be attacking into me for three. He's gonna be doing a lightning bolt for another three, triggering my ice block. That is not fortunate for me. I was hoping to be able to hold off another turn. That sucks. That really, really sucks. That's not good at all. Okay, so I need to grab one of my other ice blocks. It's in these last six cards. Like Let's hope I get it. Nope. Nope. Oh, shoot. Alright, what do I do now? That's not good. Oh, that sucks. I'm not able to attack into anything with this Acolyte of Pain. I've got four cards left. Well, shoot. I think I've lost the match here. Right? I'm at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have not pulled into a single combo card. Oh, actually, there it is. What to uh, do? What to do? What to do, indeed. Indubitably. I think this is it. I think this is the match that I lose. Drop down the mirror image. Maybe get lucky. I highly doubt it. Drop down a doomsayer. Oh boy. Okay, this is it. He could have a lava burst. He could have... Uh, he's already gone through two lightning bolts, so if he's got any way of getting rid of either one of these, he could, he could have a rock biter, he could have... No way! I thought he already had two lightning bolts! Ah, uh, there's the game, folks. Couldn't quite pull it off. Could not quite get it. How was that total of seven out of nine combo cards? I was, I was close. If he wouldn't have triggered that ice block that turn, I probably could have had the game. Alright, folks, well, there you have it. The uh, One Turn Kill Mage Deck Part 2. Hopefully uh, you got a better chance to see me uh, with the deck in action and playing it uh, in preferably um, a way that seems to be better. Or not preferably, but it seems to be a better way to play it. So anyways, folks, hope you enjoyed. Until next time, my name's Meerkat.